water. Yeah, our little bridge, well, big bridge, it's, the water is brown, and we know yeah, they definitely. have alligators in there. Definitely. <laughs> Yo, man, you did it to me. <laughs> What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Doom Shets React, yeah, and, and we're, we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we are back with another American reaction. We're yes. super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're, we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit the red subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 50k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, I wouldn't drive it. Constructed more than 85 mm -hmm. years ago to protect low-lying oh. areas of the Netherlands from flooding. Ah, the, the Netherlands again. It's <laughs> a true wonder of engineering. Ooh, they got Spending seals on the bank of that? Oh, no. And holding back the Wadden Sea. Wait a minute. minute. How long is that bridge to New Orleans? I don't know how long it is. It's an hour or something. Yeah, like it's a few, about an hour. This dog. About 45 minutes. I feel like it's longer than that. Yeah. I no, think it's longer it's than that. It's like an hour. It feels so long. This is this is crazy. Yeah, it's about an hour. Um, this is crazy. <laughs> they had to go in the sky to get you guys a real clip on. And it's not even the full bridge. Where's the wall? I'm looking at it. This the wall? Just, I don't know about this one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. But, babe, it looks like you can see the bottom of the, uh, of the sea. Our water... Good water. That's yeah, yeah. Our little bridge, well, big bridge, it's, the water is brown, and we know yeah, they definitely. have alligators in there. <laughs> definitely. Yo, man, you did it to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's something I'm on it, I got to think about that. This. Oh, bro. <laughs> I don't know. See, that was hard. That was hard. Feats of its time, and is credited with saving large parts of the country from catastrophic flooding in 1953. Okay. But while the Oslo dike has stood firm for almost a century, rising sea levels and stronger storms mean Dutch authorities are now investing 617 million US dollars to strengthen the structure, this so it can stand a one in 10,000 year storm. Using 75,000 concrete blocks, constructing new drainage systems and being aided by the latest technology, this nation-saving seawall is getting a super-sized upgrade. This was up. Them boy put money in this long wall. <laughs> this long when wall. When works first started in 1927, the construction of the Oshlo Dyke was one of the largest undertakings of its kind anywhere in the world, with more than 36 million cubic meters of material needed to span the 32 kilometer mouth of the Zardersi. Starting in four locations along the length of the dike, oh ships God, began dredging material is. and depositing it directly onto the sea floor until it breached the surface. Rocks were used to strengthen the dike, and it was raised to its final height with sand and clay before being topped with grass to hold the surface material together. Rising 7 metres above sea level and sitting 90 metres wide, the seawall enabled the construction of a causeway directly connecting north... Yo, did you guys hear what he just said about how they had to drop the cement down to yeah. bring up the wall, yeah. to start, to even start it? Like, first of all, just think about how long this wall is. Yeah. Just think about how much rocks and dropping they had to. Oh my! And before goodness. then, it was just. You seen what they were showing? They was doing it with their hands. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, baby. Mm. Drastically mm -mm. reducing mm -mm. travel time between the. And it's zigzag. Oh. While the site typically employed four to five thousand workers each day, the end of the project saw ten thousand workers, twenty-seven dredgers, thirteen floating cranes, and one hundred and thirty-two barges worked carefully timed shifts to feverishly close the wall at low tides. On the 28th of May 1932, the final gap in the dike was filled, separating the Netherlands from the Wadden Sea and creating one of Europe's largest lakes in the process. He did it. While many minor upgrades and improvements have been made to the dike in the years since, rising sea levels and an increase in the frequency and ferocity of storms has left it in need of reinforcement and 2019 saw the start of a major strengthening project. While raising the height of the dike was considered, this would use more material and add significant cost to the project. Instead, 
Engineers will strengthen the barrier by adding a layer of concrete reinforcing blocks along its length, resisting okay. erosion and preventing breaches during rough storms. Each of these blocks. Yo, real quick, man, make sure you drop it in the comment section if you ever drove on this wall. Yes. I want to know what that was like. Did he say rock storms? Rock storms. How do y'all handle that? Storm is, but it's a rock <laughs> storm. How do y'all handle a rock storm? <sighs> Very interested. Mm -hmm. To ease the process of tracing and maintaining them in the future. Though passive sluice gates were built into the original structure to discharge water from the lake twice a day during low tides, the difference in water level on either side of the dike at low tide is no longer enough for sufficient drainage. To ensure the lake doesn't become flooded by the rivers that feed into it, two of the largest pumping stations in Europe will be constructed alongside the sluice gates. The dike's locks will be expanded to improve the passage of boats, and the A7 causeway will be widened. Okay. When the seawall was first built, little concern was given to the environment or local habitats that the new structure would be dividing, and the dike caused a large drop in local fish populations. To correct this and encourage biodiversity, a new fish migration river will connect the two habitats. Wow. Wow. Oh, they smart. thought about the fish. The sheer scale of this Ooh. scheme means that over 500 architects, civil engineers and contractors are all collaborating throughout the design and pre-construction phases huge. from different geographic locations. When the dike was first constructed, this simply wouldn't have been possible. Design coordination would have taken place in person, with engineers comparing paper drawings and updating hand-drawn information as changes were made. The contrast with today couldn't be more stark. To avoid mistakes which could cost time and money if discovered out on the seawall itself, the team are using Autodesk's BIM 360 model coordination platform. Uploading their design models into a shared environment online enabled the team to coordinate them and run automated clash detection, identifying any errors in the model before works commenced on site. This approach also gave the project team greater insight and understanding, improving quality and speeding up design iterations. The team used Autodesk's Assemble software. You know, I just want to make this comment that um, we're going to go down a little motivational out here. Okay. Because for the group of men who came up with this, you know, idea and this, this format to create a wall mm -hmm. that can help people, you know what I'm saying? This was a selfless, selfless act. And sometimes you got to understand that your vision for yourself that you have for the people isn't only for you to do. This was passed down. Right. And continuously still being passed down. Right. They got to maintain it. You they know? have to maintain it. So what someone else's vision may be may end up on your doorstep. You know, it may be placed on your heart to feel mm -hmm. the need to continue something that has been started years ago. You right. feel me? Years ago. Like these men has put in. Yes, saved a nation. <laughs> For real. To track, manage, and visualize quantity changes between models, improving efficiency, and cutting change management time in half. The use of a common location online to share and store design information ensures that engineers and contractors can always access and work from the latest information, further cutting the risk of errors occurring during construction. The clever reinforcement of this 1920s seawall, enabled by 2020s technology, is likely to prove a powerful example to other countries in the years ahead, as our planet grapples with a changing climate. Due to fully complete in 2023 and not require further major upgrade works until at least 2050, oh. the seawall that saved a nation is likely to go on protecting it for decades to come. Wow. To learn more about how the Offshore Dyke project team was supported by Autodesk, click the link below. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, I wouldn't be surprised if they create a bubble around it. Right. Because now, you know, it, now they're using concrete to reinforce it. Right. So I would love to see what it looks like, you know, in 2023 when it's finished. The, yeah. new, the newest phase is finished. So many phases. Yeah. 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 So we hope you all enjoyed learning about this with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super thanks if you like to support the channel that way. And our mailing address is in the description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.